Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi, and Jesus taught us the way of love, taught us the way of peace, taught us to respect the dignity and the worth of every human being. There is a spark of the divine in all of us. And we must never, ever give up on a fellow human being. We are not animals, as some people suggest. I tell you, look, I got arrested a few times. 40 times during the 60s. And since I've been in Congress, another five times. And I'm probably going to get arrested again for something. My philosophy is very simple. When you see something that is not right, not fair, not just, you have a moral obligation to say something, to do something, stand up, speak up, speak out. No matter what part of the United States or what part of the world you come from, we have to save our democratic ideas and create a society at peace with itself. So I appeal to you to be brave, to be bold, to be courageous. I see men and women find a way to change things. You're smart. You're gifted. You've been chosen. You have been called by the spirit of history to play a role that no one else can play any better. Just think a few short years ago, black people and white people couldn't be seated together on a Greyhound bus leaving Washington, D.C. Just think a few short years ago, in many parts of the American South, people could not register to vote because of the color of their skin. There were African American asked to count the number of bubbles on the bar, so. The number of jelly beans on a jar. We tried to get rid of that at the passage of the Voting Rights Act in 1965. But some people not only gave a little blood, that's the only thing I did, I gave a little blood on that bridge. But some people gave their lives. I urge you, as you leave here, participate in the democratic process. Get out there and vote like we never voted before.